Hi, I'm Shannon Boucher, the Agile Transformation Coach, and I wanted to talk through the differences between having Agile teams and scaling Agile. Uh, sometimes you'll hear the, the phrase, a two pizza team. Um, and what that means is the team size is a group of people that could be fed by two pizzas. It's a kind of a rule of thumb when you're thinking about um, how big should an agile team be. Uh, and so in, when you look at different um, methodologies, you'll hear anywhere between five and nine people is a, is a pretty good idea, a pretty good standard size for an agile team. You get above the nine person um, team size and you're and you're breaking some of the laws the Dunbar numbers um, as they say you know like to how effective a team can interoperate um, and then when you're scaling agile you're basically saying I'm gonna have multiple agile teams working together and I'm going to put processes and um, cadences in place to help facilitate the coordination between those teams um, and you'll do that really when teams are working together to deliver a larger solution than just a single team could. Um, so those are uh, the differences between having Agile teams and scaling Agile. You can have multiple Agile teams that are working on different products, especially if they don't uh, have dependencies on each other, and that's super um, effective. Or you can have teams that work together. They work within the team construct themselves, and they work within a team of teams construct, which is the scaling Agile idea. So thanks for listening, and I hope to become a little bit more agile every day with you.